Uh, what is up guys, Thomas here. So, um, when macOS Mojave first released a few years ago, Apple released a cool feature called uh, Dynamic Wallpapers, where basically throughout the day, depending on the time, your wallpaper would change to a different photo. And they have some pre-installed ones, basically it changes, like here's the macOS Catalina Dynamic Wallpaper right here. As the time changes, uh, the photo of the island changes to show a different time of day but I've always wondered it would be pretty cool to make your own version of the dynamic wallpapers but uh, everything I found online all those tutorials have been really complex so uh, I know it's a little bit late uh, compared to the release of the operating system but I just found a really cool way to do that so what I'm thinking today is I'm gonna try to make a minecraft themed dynamic wallpaper and then I'm gonna, using that, I'm gonna show you how to create your own dynamic wallpaper. So let's get right into it. So basically what I did was I opened up a Minecraft world and I set the time to different times of the day and took a screenshot with my computer. And this actually took a lot longer than I thought because my Minecraft kept on glitching, but I finally ended up with 23 photos from my dynamic wallpaper. Now. Uh, I don't know what you are specifically wanting to do for your wallpaper, but what I recommend doing is you can either take screenshots of a game throughout the day in the game, or you can grab your camera and you can go outside and take photos throughout the day of one thing. But all you have to do to make this work right is make sure that the frame stays almost exactly the same throughout all of your photos. So once you have that done, let's get into the next step. Okay, so the next step is completely optional, but I recommend doing it to make your life easier. You're gonna take all your pictures and put them into a folder, and then you're going to rename them uh, based on the time of day that you want those photos to show up. Now keep in mind that the way we're setting this up, you have to use 24 hour time. So one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, five o'clock, seven o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 13 o'clock, 15 o'clock. You know how it works. Anyway, so you're just gonna rename these photos. One, two, three, in that order, up till 24. Or ideally you have 24 photos. If you don't, like I don't think I do, you're going to rename them up to whatever times you want them to show up. And that's what I'm doing right now. And then once you're done with that, you're gonna go over to this website, Dynamic Wallpaper Club. The link is in the description. And you can just sign in with your Google account or create an account with your Google account. It's completely free. And you're gonna click on Create. Now you're gonna type in your wallpaper name. Mine will just be Minecraft Wallpaper, although you can set your wallpaper name to whatever you want. Uh, again, this is your wallpaper, not mine. It can be as different as you want. And you're gonna select your mode as time. And now you're gonna scroll down and you can check if you want your wallpaper to appear publicly in their gallery or not. And you have to be the author and have rights to the photos, so just check that. And now we're gonna go open up our folder right here. And we are going to select all of our photos and drag them and drop them onto this website. Um, and now you can click over here once it loads, you can order them by the name. Let me just wait a bit for it to load. You can order by the name, and which I recommend doing. And you can also suggest times, which I recommend doing only if you already ordered and named your photos like I did. Um, basically it will set times when your photos will appear automatically but if your photos aren't properly ordered it could mess this up so now that we have that done uh, we're just gonna wait for it to upload a little bit more and we're gonna get into customizing okay so all of my images are finally uploaded it took about five minutes and now there are some options on the top that we can customize so the first option uh, as you can see here let me just uh, go to it is the default image which basically um, well, let me just explain it to you by showing you uh, when you download one of these wallpapers It's in this file where there's one image. It's one image file But then there's actually really a bunch of images compressed within that one image file So your default image is gonna be the default image that shows up. So I'm just gonna set it to this one right here and Then there's light which is your image that will appear when you don't have dynamic wallpaper enabled but your device is in light mode, I'll set it to this image as well. And there's dark mode, which is also when you don't have dynamic wallpaper, but your image is in dark mode. So I'm gonna set it for this image. 
And now once we have all of these set, we can just go in and tweak some of our times to make sure that things appear at the correct time that we want them to. Make, uh, keep in mind this is also in 24 hour time, not 12 hour time. And when you're done, you're just gonna click this create button right here, the green button. And uh, your wallpaper should appear in this page and it will say processing, it'll be gray. Uh, it's this one that I have my mouse cursor on. And uh, if it doesn't appear, you can always reload the page. Sometimes it lags a bit. And so you're just gonna have to wait like three, four, five minutes for the thing to actually process on their server. Sometimes it's a little bit slow. Uh, it's not stuck or anything, it's not corrupted. It just takes time, so you gotta wait. So after about five minutes, my image is processed. And to download it, we're just gonna click on it. And we're gonna click this download button. And it might take a little while to download. And here it is in my downloads folder. And to set as your wallpaper, it's pretty easy. You just hit the Apple logo. Let's close out of these tabs right quick. You're gonna hit the Apple logo in the top left corner of your screen. And you're gonna hit system preferences. And you're going to go into your wallpaper settings. And uh, basically, you're gonna set your wallpaper like you normally do. We're going to grab the image and we're going to drop it right on this little thumbnail of our wallpaper. And so I'm just gonna drop it there. And as you can see, I have the new wallpaper set. And so I'm just gonna open up my date and time preferences to show you that it is in fact a dynamic wallpaper that changes throughout the day. So let me just quickly unlock my date and time preferences. And now I'm gonna set the different times throughout the day. I'm just gonna move the time key. Let me set this, so this should be the early morning. And as you can see, it's showing the sunrise. And let me change it, oh, whoops. Oh, oops, I, I, <laughs> I'm changing the wrong hand, uh, the minute hand, not the hour hand. All right, so let's change it again. Uh, mid morning, midday, change it to the evening. Yes. Sorry, it's it's, uh, it's a little lagging right now. Change it to the evening, and so, and as you can see, it will go dark right now. So it is a fully working dynamic wallpaper, and um, the link to download my Minecraft wallpaper will be in the description below. And um, here, if you don't want to download that one and you don't want to make your own, you can always go onto the gallery page of the Dynamic Wallpapers website. Uh, as you can see, they have some pretty darn cool wallpapers here. I think that's Seoul, London, they have this iPad wallpaper one, and they have all kinds of high quality dynamic wallpapers that you can download. The link to this website will also be in the description below. And well, that's all there is to it, to making your own dynamic wallpaper. It's not that bad. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it with this um, little tutorial. Um, it's pretty it's a pretty easy process to make your own dynamic wallpaper and they're actually pretty cool um, so uh, if you enjoyed this video please do uh, leave a like they, these videos do take a little while to make and if you have any questions feel free to comment them below and I will answer remember the link to the website if you want to make your own wallpaper is in the description below and they also have a gallery full of cool wallpapers and the link to the minecraft wallpaper that I made is also linked below so I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day.